So we are here today on Langjökull Glacier. And Langjökull Glacier is the second largest glacier in Iceland. It covers an area that is larger than New York City. And all the ice that you can see here would fit into approximately 80 million uh, Olympic swimming pools. So that's quite a lot of ice. But as we know, um, glaciers are retreating with the warming that we experience with climate change. And Langjökull is expected to have fully disappeared uh, in 150 to 200 years. Today, I want to explore the question with you. What other information about climate of the past do glaciers provide us with? And to do that, we're going to go together inside the glacier where we can see some information that can take us back in time. So we can see the impact of a warming climate on the size and the shape of the glacier. But what else can glaciers tell us about climate in the past? Let's look at that. So now we're inside Longyearbyen Glacier. And what I want you to pay attention to is the ice wall here. First, take a look at this line here, this black line or dark gray line that we have in the ice wall. What is this? This is ash from volcanic eruption. It is actually from a volcano that some of you might know. It's called Eyjafjallajökull and became famous for stopping air traffic around the world and made Iceland a, a very unwanted superpower for a few weeks' time. So this is ash for, from, from that eruption that, that covered the glacier at the time. And you can see some other snow layers here. And, and when we go up, you can see another line that is slightly light gray. It is from another eruption uh, from a famous volcano called Grimsvöll in Iceland. Uh, that is one of the most active volcanoes in the country. Um, then if you look over here, you can see on this wall here where we have layers of dust. Those are layers that um, form during the summertime when we have no snowfall and then they mark these regular lines in the ice. So why are those information important? How, how can these ash layers and, and the dust layers provide us with helpful information when it comes to climate change? Well, they are some sort of a marker that can help us count backwards in time and thus understand the age of the ice. So you might wonder, why is it important to understand the age of the ice? Well, Here's the thing, when we drill deep into cooler glaciers, such as the ones that we have in Greenland, we can research tiny little bubbles of air that the glacier has preserved uh, for thousands of years. And those tiny little bubbles became into place when the snowfall at the time converted into glacier, uh, glacier ice. And when we understand the, the age of the ice and we research those tiny little bubbles, we can get an understanding of how the temperature was at that time, how the air uh, composition was, so we can get an understanding of how the climate has developed between ice ages long before we started measuring and collecting weather data as we have today. So understanding glaciers and researching glaciers can help us get the full picture of why climate change as we know it today is different from natural variations that have happened in the past. 